Hey, welcome to another Innovation Production. This is the most hated MIDI keyboard in the history of the human race. Because it is a clone of the currently available classic Arturia Keystep. Welcome to the Behringer Swing. In this video, I'll look at build quality, differences, user experience, and software. Now before you boycott this channel, understand this. Number one, I fully agree, Behringer did the wrong thing and the lazy thing by making this blatant copy. Number two, this video is not sponsored by Behringer. I bought this with my own money out of curiosity. Number three, I've spent over $1,500 on Arturia equipment and only a few hundred dollars on Behringer products. So I prefer Arturia. Number four, while those in developed countries have the luxury of picking and choosing which products they'll buy, those in poorer countries have less affordability. So their options are, number one, go without, number two, steal, number three, get into debt by buying something that they cannot afford, number four, buy something affordable like this. This video is to help those who are seriously considering this keyboard to make the right choice before purchasing. So with all that aside, let's take a look at this nasty piece of hardware. First of all, in terms of build quality, it's not bad, it's just like the key step. In terms of the keybed, it's also very similar to Arturia Mini Keyboard keybeds. It's got a nice feel to it, unlike many other mini MIDI keyboards. A lot of other brands make mini keyboards with keys which are not really that playable. For example, I own the Novation Launch Key Mini MK3, and I really didn't like the feel of the keys at all. This one is passable. In terms of the dials, they actually feel quite solid and not much wobble at all. In terms of the buttons, they also feel pretty good. In terms of positive differences, the Behringer Swing uses a key combination to change the clock sync from internal MIDI or USB or trigger using these keys. Whereas with the Arturi key step, there are some micro switches at the back of the keyboard where you have to configure to change the, the clock settings, which I've found to be quite fiddly. This also has a ratcheting function which the key step doesn't have. What you do is you're in record mode, you press this key once, you press this sequence or ratcheting key, and there's number four here. Let go, and then press play. So that's the ratcheting feature that the key step doesn't have. Unlike the key step, the swing doesn't have live recording. You can only do step recording. Whereas in the key step, you can be recording in real time, which is a big plus. In terms of user experience, this keyboard is very picky with USB. I tried using two other micro USB cables I had and they didn't work. And when I first plugged this into my USB hub, it was having all sorts of issues. But after a while, it seemed to be working fine. In terms of the manual, it's a typical Behringer user guide, which I really don't quite like. They've got all these languages in one document, and it's not your typical A4 or letter portrait document. And you have to wade through it to get to the language that you speak. If you want to register the swing, you have to go through to Music Tribe, which is Behringer's parent company. And I find this website to be really slow in loading things up and a bit convoluted. So let's say you want to go to support to register it, see how long it actually takes. And I've got a very fast broadband connection. Okay, then you got to find how to actually register. Um, okay, you have to register as a consumer and then you can register your product. But I don't find this website to be very user friendly and very aesthetically pleasing either. If you want to change the settings of the swing, you have to download this Control Tribe app from Behringer. And as I mentioned earlier, I was having issues with my USB connection. See here? I'll try plugging the USB cable directly into my computer, see if that works or not. Okay, so this is plugged in straight to my computer and it seems to be working okay. Like I said, it's very particular regarding the USB connection. In terms of the Control Tribe program, it seems straightforward enough and it's got all the parameters that you can change if you can get it working. So in summary, should you buy this Behringer Swing for a cheaper price or should you go for the Arturia Keystep? My recommendation is go for the Keystep if you can afford it. With the Keystep, you're getting number one, Arturia quality build. 
Number two, no issues with USB connectivity in my experience. Number three, better configuration software. Number four, you're getting a better manual. The key step manual is 81 pages long compared to this swing manual, which is only a few pages long. Number five, you get Analog Lab Intro, which is the light version of Analog Lab, and it has 500 sounds. Number six, you also get Ableton Life Lite. Number seven, you'll have a better user experience on the Arturia website, and also in my experience, they have great support as well. Number eight, because you've got the Analog Lab Intro, sometimes you have really great offers to upgrade to the full Analog Lab or the Arturia V Collection. And number nine, the key step enables you to do live recording and not just step sequencing recording, which the Swing cannot do. Now here are some reasons why you may want to go for the Swing instead of the key step. Number one, the biggest factor will be price. If you absolutely cannot afford the key step, the Swing gives you the functionality of a key step, minus those things I mentioned earlier. The Swing also doesn't have a mini switch system for changing the clock settings, and you just use these buttons instead, which I find to be easier. The Swing also has that registering function I showed you earlier, so if you do decide to get the Swing, no one's gonna judge you, as long as you don't let anyone know. Thanks for watching, and if you want to support this channel, please use the purchase links below to get the Arturia Keystab, or if you really can't afford it, get this Behringer Swing. See you next time!